So in the first two videos, we talked about how to get the dog comfortable going in here. Uh, we talked about this off camera, but this is something you shouldn't start doing about three to three days to about a week after uh, we've done all this, uh, after the day of the session, so the dog is very comfortable going in the cow. Uh, crib. Crib. Now I'm going to transition to getting up because eventually what I'm going to do is block her from exiting. I'm going to do it with my legs. So I want to be up before I throw the treat in there. If I throw it in and then get up, the next is going to kind of throw her off a little bit. So see, I stood up, now she looked at me. She remembered what happened last time. So I have to earn her trust back by doing this crib. Crib. And you saw that quick sudden move. That's why you want to wait about a week before you do it. But I, have, I can't come back in a week to just demonstrate that. So I'm going to just do this. So I'm waiting for her to be stationary and to look up at me before I come forward, before I step back. Now I'm going to step back, when I step back, I'm going to step back left, right, only. Now I'm using a hissing sound as a no, and I'll talk to you guys about that after we get done with these videos. So I have zero tunnels. I don't want them to stick anything out of the exit. So I'm just doing very small steps away. Now, if you worry about she or escaping, you can kind of do this and block it, but I prefer to keep it open completely so that there's nothing but air between her and the exit. So that way she is doing the work herself. There we go. She, she looked at me, you step back. She's outside more than I would like, but she's kept her feet down, so I'm not So as soon as she kind of took a step forward, that's when I kind of corrected. Now again, I have giant feet, so I'm having to turn mine sideways. You can do this kneeling down, but I try to do it, I'm going to try to do this one standing because it gives you better, uh, better uh, agility. Well, we'll just do it this way then. So maybe we'll block a little bit more effectively this way. And I treat my hands on when I keep them away from her purview. And I'm going to wait for her to look at me. There we go. She looks at me, so I take another step back. Another step back. Now the first couple times you want to do it, you don't want to get much further than this because it's just too tempting for them to escape. Now when she SITs, see I kind of, she kind of moved back. It's better if you're marching, but I guess I'm pretty good on my knees right now. Um, but as soon as she LAYs, then I'm going to take a big step back at the same time. When a dog SITs, it's saying, look, I'm taking a posture that's some more subordinate. For a dog SITing or LAYing, and I'm doing it, spelling it out because I don't want to do it on command, is a more subordinate position. So a dog kind of that SITs around other dogs says, I'm comfortable enough about, around you to not consider you a threat so I can put myself in an SIT position. And then if I do get, try to get up and escape, I'm kind of telegraphing what I'm going to do. So you see she's looking up at me. She's waiting for me to give her a cue. I'm not going to let her out until she LAYs. So we're going to try to ride it out in this video, but I don't want the video to be 10 minutes long, so we may cut it here and then come back to it. But basically, as soon as she SITs, then I'm going to take a step back at the same time. The first time that she LAYs, we're going to hold out our hand with the treat, and we're going to give her the C-O-M-E command. So when she LAYs, that's her way of saying, I surrender. As soon as she surrenders, she gets freedom the first couple times. That's how we communicate what the rules of this game are. Then we're gonna talk about in the next video how we can make it more challenging and how to elongate it. But at first, all we want her to do is learn to be in here and calm with the human here. So we're not dealing with the two problems we had before. I'm confined to the kennel with the door closed. The kennel is the authority figure keeping me away and my human is leaving. We're removing both of those from the equation. So now there's nothing but air I thought you were going to SIT. And the human is right, in this case, right over here, your guardian. Um, but normally the guardian is going to be right here. All right, so since this is going to be a little while, we're going to go ahead and end this video here in a second, and we'll come back and we'll show another video of her hopefully LAY and comfortably in the camera.